This is Homework Helper where, uh, Division Warehouse. We're going to teach you how to divide things fair and square because division is fair and square. We set up the Division Warehouse. This is the division sign. We say the dividends in the warehouse. Doesn't this look like a little warehouse to you? The divisors backing up the door. That's how many trucks. Now these are bad looking trucks, but you get the idea. Two trucks are backing up to the door to Division Warehouse. Now we talked about what we would have in Division Warehouse that we would want to divide out to the trucks to our customers to ship away. We decided that we would use flat screen TV. So follow along with me as we talk about dividing flat screen TVs on two trucks. Here we go. We know we have eight tens that we have to divide. And we show tens with a rod like that. So we would have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rods to get rid of. Let's go put them on the trucks fair and square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're done with that. We have distributed all eight uh, rod, rods of those boxes of TVs. You get the idea. We're talking about using base 10 blocks. We show six like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we have six singles we have to get rid of. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got rid of all six. We don't have any left over. It was fair and square. We had just enough for two customers. Let's see how much we gave those customers. So we have to label our trucks to make sure before we ship out our customers to make sure everybody's fair and square. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. Let's label that. My Aunt Mabel likes to label. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. We label that truck as 43. We feel good that we've got fair and square. That becomes our quotient. Four tens and three ones. So this is the sign that goes on top of Division Warehouse. You can picture this as a big flashing sign that tells the loaders, the people on the loading dock, load four tens and three ones and everything will be fair and square. There's none left over in this particular problem, so we don't have to worry about what we're going to do with our remainder room. But let's see what a remainder room would look like. Let's say that we had 87 TVs in Division Warehouse. So that's going to be an odd number, and we're dividing still by two trucks. Now, you don't have to have fancy trucks. You can just use lines over here. But it is a good idea to always draw a picture. It helps you visualize the division problem. Here's the Division Warehouse. We have 87 TVs in Division Warehouse. We have eight tens and seven ones. We should always label those so we can make sure that we're talking to ourselves about what it is that we're handling. So we have eight tens that we have to divide. Let's load eight tens onto these trucks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. All eight. We didn't have to regroup any, but if we had any left over, we'd regroup them into the ones room. We have seven ones that we have to get rid of. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up. There's one left over. Division is always fair and square. Don't try to put more TVs on one truck than the other because the customers will get angry. Come over here and put it in the remainder room. Remember our old friend Walter Fast? He's a fourth grader that gets everything done before anybody else. Well, Walter's dad, Ralph, works at Division Warehouse. And Ralph always keeps all of the extra TVs. So we know we have 43. We've counted them up. 10, 20, 30, 43. Again, we label like my Aunt Mabel. We know we have four tens, three ones, and Ralph is going to keep one in the remainder room because we don't want to make sure we want to make sure that none of the customers get anything that's not fair. What happens if you have a problem like 96 divided by two? Don't forget to label. Don't forget to understand that these are ones and these are tens. Let's do this really, really fast. We have nine tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, there's an extra nine or an extra or extra group of ten from the nine. So we have to bring it over to the ones room and regroup. So just like adding and subtracting, now we have a group of ten and six. Now we have sixteen. Let's do this quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now that can get a little messy, and that's a really good example of maybe what not to do. You've got to make sure that you can be just as neat as possible. But we got rid of all of the nine. We got rid of all of the sixteen, so we can cross that out under the division warehouse. Let's go and count. There's forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, forty-eight. There should be forty-eight on this truck as well. 40, 
and 48. That becomes our quotient. It goes on the roof of the division warehouse. Ralph Fast, Walter's dad, flashes the sign and tells the, the guys out on the loading dock, load 48 TVs onto these trucks, it'll be fair and square. So don't forget to label, don't forget to distribute your hundreds or your tens, regroup if you need to, keep making a picture. Your quotient is the number of TVs that are on each truck. The divisor, the dividends in the warehouse, the divisors backing up to the door, the quotient is on the roof. Play the Division Warehouse song. It goes right along with this lesson. That's your homework helper. Good luck and keep practicing division.